Grace and peace to you. This is Pastor Terry Sim. We're doing another midweek devotion. Uh, this week I'm out in front of our uh, grade school. And for this uh, uh, devotion for today, I'd like to lift up our schools. The students and the teachers, after five months of not being in the classroom together, are finally uh, returned to the classroom. I'm told that all precautions are being taken to keep both the students and the teachers safe during this COVID pandemic. Even without COVID, I think it would be prudent as a community that we lift up all those involved in the educational system. As a guide, I, I, for to pray for, I'd like to use Proverbs 1, 1 through 7. Number one, we need to thank God for learning opportunities and recognize that God has provided everything we need to know to understand what life means and where we are going. And because the teachers of the school tend to spend more time, awake time, especially with our children, it's important we pray that our teachers would lift up godly principles and truths when talking about the meaning of life. Number two, that our students would learn the meaning of life, to understand what life means and where it's going from verse three. We should thank God that we live in Northwest Iowa, that our students can sing Christian songs, and let us pray that our schools will teach the students prudent behavior uh, to make choices, uh, that do good, not harm, uh, to others as they grow up. And number three, pray that our students would learn to love fairness. Verse three talks about what is right and just and fair in God's eyes. Unfortunately, there is a growing concern that our culture's definition of right and wrong is drifting further and further away from the Bible's definition. So let us pray that our children in our school will be taught what God thinks is right and indeed what is right that what God says is just is indeed just, and that what God says is fair is indeed fair. Let us pray that number four, that all of our students will learn discretion. Number four, verse four talks about God giving knowledge and discretion to his young. Our children need discretion to have the wisdom to discern what is appropriate behavior. Today's kids can be very cruel with their words that are spoken, written, text, tweeted, said in a chat room or Facebook, just to name a few. And number five, pray that our students would learn to fear God. Verse seven in Proverbs 1, seven says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So let us pray that our students and teachers will come to fear God in a good way. Right now, so much of what is happening in our world is showing no fear of God, no respect for God, who created everything that is and who gave up his one and only son that we might have eternal life. The truth is far more important than all the knowledge the world has to offer. We are blessed to have several Christian teachers and administrators who all have the opportunity to witness to the gospel and to share the love of Christ. May the fear of God, not humans, or our world in which we live, um, not humans, speak faithfully and courageously for Jesus. Let us pray. Oh God, our Father, we thank you that our schools can once again be open. We pray for their safety and health of both the students, the faculty, and staff. And may our school provide a safe place to learn, protect the innocent of our children, innocence of our children, and preserve the spark in their eyes from the darkness of the world. And let them be lights to their parents and teachers. Allow them to grow and have fair opportunity to learn. Bless our children, keep them safe from physical and emotional harm. Protect them from abuse and from the devil's schemes to turn their hearts away from you. Protect our children from gossip and bullying, and may they know and hear your voice louder than all the others. And help us remember that you are bigger than all of our worries or our, most, our worst fears. Send your Holy Spirit over our schools to protect and guide them, to guide both our children and our teachers, and remind us that you are our only hope to save us and set us free. In Christ's name we pray, amen.